All right, so picking up where we left off. The thing that's critical here, the thing that I think sometimes we don't understand very well is that this is just generating numbers. And so we are starting a counter that starts at zero and this is just a number that's updated each time we come through. It goes one, two, three, four, until we reach this number. So this words.length just gets, just gets translated into a number. In the case of um, what we just used, we, we know actually from our own little counter, the number of characters that counted was seven. And so it starts counting at zero and it writes that line out. And what's in there, in fact, we can watch this work. Maybe that's a better way of doing this. If I put a stop out here, a breakpoint, it's called, out in this left-hand margin, I can click and stop. And then when I run this program, it's going to stop. Um, so I'll just say testing again. It's going to stop here, and it'll show me that i is equal to 0. And then it's going to print out the 0. It hits the bottom of this loop. i is going to get incremented to 1. And actually, we can say continue here. And now i gets incremented to one. It shows us the change that occurred by highlighting it in red. So i got set to one, and then two, and then three, and then four. Each time it's coming through, it's incrementing i when it hits the bottom. So now it's a new thing, in this case a four. And it says, is four less than the length which is seven? And the answer is no. And so it'll keep going and going and going now at some point here we're going to hit the seven so if i go back to my little art notice we started counting at zero so what we would usually consider a one is zero so we go zero one two three four five six seven is going to be this space that's the character there and so the way we set up our loop because we started counting at zero we want to go while i is less than less than the seven because if we get to seven that's too many when we start counting at zero we do a less than if we were to start with a one then we'd say less than or equal to if we were wanting to get to that specific length and so that's what's happening behind the scenes at some point here this is going to get to seven and then it will say is seven less than seven no and so it exits that loop which is going to be this next run and then we get our output we see each of those times it's printed. But the point I wanted to make here is that there's nothing special. This is These just all get translated to numbers and then it's just doing a basic, you know, kind of if statement logic as it goes through with the numbers. So how can we make it actually do something with the characters? Now, what you may think, and one possible solution to solve our program is to, and I'll go ahead and close this window here. One possible solution is just to set up a whole bunch of variables. So to say, uh, let's create a char uh, or an int a and, and say that that's equal to zero, an int b is equal to zero. And then as we're going through the program, we can look at that character by saying, give me words element, let's just start with zero, and say if words element zero is equal to an A, then let's take the A variable and increment it by one. Let's put that in double quotes. So if, oh, and I did a couple things wrong here. One is if we're comparing, we need to have two equal signs. But even worse is, this is a whole different thing, but I guess I'm glad I did it. Just gives one more opportunity to provide a little explanation of something I hadn't thought about. Um, if you look at this error, you're going to notice that it says the operator equals equals cannot be applied to operands of types char and string. Um, they're a different animal. This isn't like looking at a number and seeing if it's the same. And so we need to instead, now it's give, showing us potential fixes, um, yeah, that's not going to be helpful. In, in, and this is a thing in, in Java and in C Sharp and in other languages. Instead of comparing strings using the equals equals sign, which is comparing what we call primitive data types. 
in the beginning, strings weren't a thing. What you had was integers and you had chars. And then if you wanted to make a string, if you wanted to store a word, then you would build a string array, sorry, excuse me, a char array. So we would get a char array and then go put in all the different characters that we wanted. Well, obviously words are something we use so often that eventually they built in a string type, but the string type is not what we call a primitive type in C sharp. And so if we want to compare, we can't use the equals equal sign, which is reserved for comparing primitive types. Now, other languages have, have updated this and, and figured it out. Um, I think just because this has been the syntax, when we're comparing strings, we instead use a method. So we say go to the words array at element zero, dot, which is a char, and say, is it equals? And then in parentheses, we say what we're comparing it to. All right, so we use an equals method instead of the equals equal sign when we're comparing strings. So we say, go out to the words array at apartment, whoops, zero. So go get that character and check to see, is it equal to an A? And this little thing here, uh, the equals uh, method returns a true or a false. You can see it returns a Boolean that um, is it true if it's a if it is the same character and a false if it's not. Now, one of the problems here is that a capital A is going to be treated separately than a lowercase a. And so we need to add on here the equals ignore, I assume. I'm going back to my <laughs> Java knowledge here. Let's see, dot equals, let's try it again. Dot equals. Um, how do I tell it whether? Okay, this is good learning for us. So I can't remember actually how to do this. So let's click on the equals here, which will pull up what this does. Um, and it's not saying anything about case. Let's look up and see does C sharp dot equals ignore case. I always try to shy away from the Stack Overflow at first. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but it's also just a bunch of people's opinions. And so I try to find something official. So we have here equals Let's see if we can find anything about case. This is often the type of thing that I'd stop and, and you know go figure out something good and um, record a new video where you didn't even know anything bad happened in the video that I messed up anywhere or got any error. And I need to do that less because this is just part of life. I honestly can't remember. Um, in C sharp, how we do this, I know a way that I can do it, which is I can force this to be a lowercase letter and then do the comparison. But I think so what's the difference between the compare and the and the equals? Let's search for the word case here. You can choose if case matters. Case sensitive. I can have a while. Let's see, compare to most. Let's not see. All right, looking at the clock, this is going to have to be a cliffhanger. Let's figure it out in the next video. Spencer, out.